Today is Saturday. It is July 29, 2023. The time is 8.42 in the evening. I hope you guys are safe and dry because of the uh, super typhoon. I think Ega is, has moved out, but we have another typhoon, super typhoon. I'm not sure what the name is. Uh, again, I hope uh, everyone is safe and dry. So right, right now we have two packages right here that we're about to unpack, unbox, unwrap. They both uh, they both uh, came in yesterday, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and open them today. So let's go ahead and start with a small one. There we go. Our first package is from L9 Motor Parts. If you guys can see that. Okay, let's go ahead and open the first one and we're going to use this time our knife. I miss using our EDC knife. EDC stands for everyday carry and again when you're using pointy or sharp objects, remember your alphabet which is always be careful. You don't want to cut yourself or you know hurt yourself when using a knife or a scissor. All right, so always be careful. Uh, let's see here. So I've been using this knife for my motor camping. You probably have seen me use this cutting vegetables or meat. <laughs> it's pretty handy. There we go. Now let's fold it back in, just like so, and. For our first item, okay, it's got bubble wrapping, that's good. This time let's use our scissor. Here we go, let's cut along here, this side. There we go. Take that off. And then, I like it when sellers uh, use bubble wrap for the items that they ship because it means that they care about their items being safe and protected, right? Now, it's pretty tight. Let's try to open this right here, cut it on this side. I don't hear any heavy rains right now at this very moment, but uh, there's a bit of shower going on. Okay. Heavily <laughs> taped. Here we go. First item. We got two packages actually, or two items in the first package. So this one right here is, oh, it's Lamboog. I thought it was Lamborg. That's weird. You guys notice that one? This one here says Lamborg. Let me zoom. All right, this one says Lamborg. This one says Lamboog. <laughs> I don't know if that's a uh, typo or what. <laughs> but yeah, these are brake pads. Okay, this one right here is a brake pad. Uh, you want to know the serial number? It says T33093 and it's got this, uh, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Thailand, Indonesian or whatever uh, font. I'm not sure. And this is for your four pot. Um, it's it, This is for your four pot uh, caliper brakes. All right. And the other one right here, there's the code, it says T3136. This is for your two pot uh, caliper brakes, okay? I bought these brake pads so that I can put them on, install them on Maxin. Because um, we noticed that the last time I changed uh, the tires on Maxin, we noticed that the brake pads on both on both the front and the rear they're thinning already so brakes are very vital in in any type of vehicle regardless if it's two wheel three wheel or four wheels they are very vital all right uh, there's a saying uh, for us uh, motorists uh, 
we say madali magpatulin mahirap huminto so in english that would mean it's easy to speed up but to uh, slow down is another thing all right so these will be uh, used for maxin that's our first package all right the lamboog or lamborg <laughs> brake pads all right let's move on to our next package the seller's name is hm1 i don't know if you guys can see that it's a little blurry there we go okay do that again there all right now i can feel bubble wrapping which is good and we're gonna use our scissor to cut along this side there we go i also use this scissor on my in my motor camping you may have seen me use it already there we go bubble wrap away i mean the package away and here's a, another bubble wrapping very good scissor Cut the tape over here. More tape, more fun. Okay. And as usual, we have two packages inside this. Right. So, there's the first one. And here's the second one. Now, they're both the same. Alright. They are exactly both the same. See that? But I'm going to show you what it is. The front of the box says waterproof case. Hold on, let me zoom. Okay, there you go. It says waterproof case for phone holder. 360 all inclusive while still retaining full touch screen capability. And what does it say there? There you go. Automatic telescopic design. That's what it says on this side. All right, that side back let me zoom come on zoom there we go it's a strong magnetic superior load bearing performance stable support 1.5 strong absorption and then adjustable the handle diameter size suit for handle that 22 to 28 millimeter diameter minimum you guys can read right and it's made in China obviously and on this side M3 there's the size and at the bottom there's nothing at the top there's a, there's nothing so let's go ahead and open it from this side right here there we go okay we have this put that aside we have this and we have something else inside there we go so nothing left inside the box all right we'll put the box over here and this are the things that fell on my hand all right i don't know what these are but we're about to find out it's a piece of metal all right and we have this like a cap or something and an allen wrench tool all right so we're gonna go ahead and put them over here we're gonna check out what this one is this looks like a clip of sort yeah it's a clip of sort okay here we go okay so you know how it works you put your handlebar or the bars through this hole over here and then you just uh, snap this into place so that it's tight and secure now this thing is adjustable obviously can you guys see that okay let me show it this way it is adjustable and this right here is also adjustable my only concern is how tight is it all right i wonder if there's a way to make it tight or what now i'm assuming this thing this cap right here goes through this then something goes on top of it and then you screw it in place you guys you guys understand what i'm saying now let's go over to this one here it's got a plastic cover and here it is uh oh is that a crack i hope not this is pretty big 
okay um it opens on this side right here and on this side right here and over here too okay you see that it looks like uh we can actually charge uh our devices uh i don't know if you guys can see it let me flip it over there we go there's actually a charging port over here uh, i don't know if you guys can see it i hope you can here we go you just flip this thing over here you guys see that so you can actually charge your phone very good and then what is this thing right here also this one here looks like this one also opens but uh, this is probably for your headphone for your earphone right you guys see that let's put it back in place that's a good touch right so you it uh how, how am i supposed to open this thing here okay you open it this way all right now what happens is you put your phone inside so that your phone stays in place now this thing goes like oh okay so it's spring it is there's a spring there's a spring so that way your phone gets to stay in place now i was hoping i would find a seal to make sure it's watertight but i'm not seeing any i was under the impression that there was going to be a seal somewhere but i don't seem to see any can you guys see there's supposed to be a seal over here but uh, there isn't the reason why there should be a seal is because this is supposed to be a waterproof or water resistant casing and the reason why i got this is you're probably aware uh, that lately it has been raining okay and when you're driving and you have your phone in front of you you obviously don't want your cell phone to get wet so this is the solution you put your phone right here it's a good thing there's a window right here for your camera all right uh, i hope this is not a crack i hope it's not it's actually only plastic it's not made of glass all right same thing from over here i thought it's glass it's only plastic but that's fine as long as they're able to keep the water out then we're good to go okay so this is how it works so like i said like i thought you just snap that into place and then you screw this thing over here all right you screw this thing over here there we go okay screw that thing over there and then we're good all right now i don't know what is this thing for okay i'm not really sure i'm guessing that maybe this thing goes over here oh yeah it does see because it's magnetic i don't know what for maybe just so there's additional space or whatever but yeah so that's what it is and then you close it back and then you're good to go so you put that on your handlebar and then uh, I mean this one you put this rear handlebar and then you uh, snap it into place all right yep you snap it into place and then you're good you're just gonna have to screw this thing over here all right because obviously it's so loose all right then yeah that's it so for the sake of presentation, we're gonna go ahead and open the other one as well. This one over here. They're the same, but you know, just for the sake of presentation. So it turns out there's two sizes, all right, based on this diagram right here. But I'm not sure if this is what received or this. I'm guessing this is what we got, because it's really big. So let's go ahead and open this one right here from this side right here, okay. You might be uh, wondering how come I got two. I mean, the reason why I got two is I see nothing wrong with getting two. Besides, so that I can, you know, um, so that the shipping fee is worth worth it. <laughs> All right, and then so it's the same thing, and here's the other one, and the same thing inside. There we go. 
Okay, so it's all the same. So let's get this thing over here. Okay, the same. All right, this one looks better than that one. <laughs> Uh, I want to check if there's a seal. Okay, there's no seal as well. So, but uh, yeah, this one looks better because I see no scratches or um, blemishes. Wow, blemishes. <laughs> and it's the same thing. It's got this uh, ports right here for you to charge your your device and also here to uh, plug in your earphones or headphones or whatever. All right is good so yeah I think uh, that's about it for our unboxing uh, tonight so we have the uh, uh, Lamborg or Lambu brake pads for your four pot caliper this one right here and for your two pot calipers over there and then we have our cell phone water supposedly waterproof uh, cell phone holders all right so I guess that's it for now you guys again thank you very much for watching my videos from start to finish I do want to shout out uh, to all my new subscribers and to my other subscribers thank you very much for whatever you do again uh, please don't hesitate to uh, like share and subscribe to my channel I'm planning to go on moto camping this will be my third moto camping but for now I'm not sure where to go if you have any suggestions please let me know in the uh, comments section below write it down I'll go ahead and read them I'll go ahead and respond to them if I have to again you guys stay safe stay dry all right bye now peace